Alrighty, how to leave a married man that you love. And this is a challenging topic. This is an emotional topic. And if you're in a intimate relationship or an emotional affair or a, a physical affair with a married man, then this video is for you. And I have a whole list of things that I want to cover in this video and only a certain amount of time before I've got to hop on my next call. So we're going to get straight into it. If you're new to this channel, this channel is a channel to support you as the other woman, the mistress, the side chick, whatever you want to label yourself in this situation. Essentially, you are in an uh, emotional relationship with someone that has a partner already, has a life, etc. So a very challenging situation to be in. And the, I, I'm speaking from personal experience. I personally was in an affair for seven years. So I know what you're going through. I can relate to all the emotions and the feelings that you're feeling. Every affair is different. Um, and the meanings that you create from the affair is different. And your ultimate outcome is different. For example, you may want him to leave his wife to be with you. Or you may think that you don't actually have ultimate compatibility. So why are you so attached to this affair and can't leave? And there's, there's so many different elements. Um, this is me speaking from my own personal experience and also from the ladies that I have worked with who are going through affairs on some things that you need to consider in order to break it off for good if that is what you're wanting to do. And so if you're wanting to leave a married man, for good. Here are some things that are going to support you in ending it. You may have tried to end it before and keep going back, or you may just feel like I have to end this, but I don't want to end this. Where when we're in this position, we don't actually have any fuel to, to create lasting change and to commit to the decision that our intuition might want, but not the needs that we have being met in the relationship. And so that can be really hard to make a decision that we ultimately don't want to make but feel we need to make. Uh, there's so many factors and we're going to go straight into it. First thing that I want to talk to you about is getting clear on your truth. And so right now you've created a formed an emotional bond with a married man and you're wanting to end it. It's important for you to get clear on your inner truth of what you ultimately stand for and need long-term. And you've got two parts of yourself. You've got this intuitive side of yourself, this higher side, this higher, higher self, so to speak. And then you've got your animal self. And your animal self is going to be painting over all the reasons of why it's important for you to hold on, to, to keep security, to keep these needs being met, that are being met in this relationship. And it's going to cling on to dear life for um, not wanting to lose this commitment that you do have and the, the bonds that you do share. And then there's going to be this subtle intuition feeling that's like, hey, you are made for more than what you're settling. Why have you gotten into this situation? You ultimately want commitment and someone that can commit to you so why are you settling in a situation where you're getting around in secret that violates your moral values and your your code for life um your moral compass and and then there's all the voice of that side of yourself and so what we want to get clear on here first if you're wanting to leave is what deep down is that moral compass pointing you towards and that moral compass will be consistent ever-present voice that it keeps coming up and then the other voice will be the voice of seeking security and comfort and it's important to understand that that voice is going to get loud the part of yourself that's seeking security and comfort um, in the known in what you do have and it will have to die to some point like as in have an ego death to some point in order to create this change that you're seeking so just first it's important to understand those two sides of yourself um the second part here is to just want to make sure i'm recording i'll probably check again i seem to do that a lot um but the next thing to check in is to how you feel and ultimately an affair relationship can bring a lot of pain and 
there's going to be a lot of loss in you breaking it off. And at the end of the day, it's important for you to go over how you're really feeling and how this relationship is making you feel at the end of the day. And you may have the most beautiful connection and this compatibility and this fire and this chemistry together that is absolutely beautiful or this intellectual connection that you haven't had with anyone and all these beautiful things. And is there a part of it that's leaving you crying at night? Is there a part of it that's leaving you in constant confusion and doubt of where this is going or where do I stand in this? And it's important for you to get clear on those parts of yourself because as you're painting over how much you do have you're neglecting to focus on how this is making you feel and in the long run it's important for you to get clear on what do I ultimately want to feel in relationship and is this aligning to what I want to feel because at the end of the day there might be like such a strong fire in this relationship but is it ultimately ultimately making your body feel safe and what I mean by safe is that there's no questioning there's just pure knowing that this connection is real is honest that he is there for you that he loves you and when there's this questioning (laughs) that's where we stay in this fight flight or freeze and that ultimately is unhealthy long term and it can build I'll go on to the next one is is it love or is it trauma? Is there true intimacy, which is true vulnerability of how we feel or is it attachment where there's this constant second guessing and understanding where do we actually stand and and, uh, this constant need to attach? And so is it love? Is it pure love where you're not doubting or questioning any of this Or is there a bond, a trauma bond, which you can go into my videos on trauma bonds, where there is this questioning, where there is this need to attach, where there is this doubt of where you stand. That ultimately does build a strong attachment, but is that attachment healthy or is it built from trauma as opposed to to love and true intimacy, vulnerability that you do want in relationship? Next one is if you are wanting to leave a married man, um, obviously this, this action is not going to be easy. It's going to be challenging. And naturally when you are leaving an affair relationship, you're going to go into the animal side of yourself is going to continue to paint over everything that you have lost. And I just said this on a call last night is when you need to go to the toilet and there's no bathroom, suddenly you need to go to the toilet like now. Or if you suddenly realize you've forgotten your water bottle where you are, then suddenly you're really thirsty. And this is natural. This is our survival side of ourselves. This is what happens also when you're breaking it off is you're naturally going to paint over everything that you have lost and how you're going to survive without these needs being met. If you're going to be painting over the losses, which you naturally are, you absolutely owe it to yourself to be painting over the gains. And it's important for you to get clear on what are these gains? What am I absolutely gaining from me saying yes to myself and my future and my standards for living and what I seek in relationship moving forward? And without this uncomfortable change, you wouldn't be able to go through this process of stepping into these gains. So... What will you gain from ending this affair relationship? What will you gain? Where is the beauty, the blessing in ending this? How do you come out on top from ending this? It's important for you to really jot that down and write it down and write a big long list so that you can see every single area because naturally this animal side of ourself is going to be working busy away at trying to keep us safe and in survival and attaching to the attachment that we do have with our fair partner so while that side of ourself is getting busy on creating that attachment uh, it's important for you to um, even it out by going into where all your gains are from taking action on ending it with your affair partner okay the next question is 
does this ultimately support my future? And so if you're wanting to end it with a married man um, and every bit of your body is fighting the need to break it off for good, one question I want you to come back to is what do I want in relationship in my future? And is this the direction that I need to be heading in order to create that in my life? And if it's not the direction, then what does that direction look like? And breaking it off for sure is not going to be easy. It's going to be challenging. Uh, It's going to be painful because you have formed attachment to a, a person and that's not easy to end. Absolutely. And it's important to acknowledge and feel that, that it's going to be challenging. However, long term, is this what you want to create? And if if this is not what you want to create, how can we start taking the steps to live in alignment for that? Because ultimately, if you don't take action on ending this affair, if it's not in alignment for what you seek long term, then you're going to be out of alignment and not fulfilled. So really get clear on what your ideal future looks like, what your ideal partner looks like, what your ideal commitment and relationship looks like, so that you can start asking yourself, is me investing in this situation more, bringing out the results that I want to create in my future moving forward? Alrighty, next one is to pay attention to his actions, not his words. And this is a big one because he will ultimately he is going to fear losing you as well. And so there's going to be many words that are said in order to keep you close. And these words can look like you are my soulmate. You are, I've never had anyone like you before. I have, this connection is so strong and we are obviously meant to be together Um, you are exactly what I need right now with all that I'm going through in my life. Um, I miss you all. I need you. I know like all these things. Um, and need to get back to what, yeah, pay attention to actions, not words. All these things uh, he is going to paint over, but what we want to get clear on is these words can feel amazing in our body when they speak them but how does it make it it can sound amazing but how does it actually make my body feel and if you're stuck in confusion around his words are saying one thing but his actions aren't like my body isn't actually feeling that fully in my body that he is absolutely there for me without a doubt and that he will move mountains for me then it's important for you to really get clear on feeling into your body and his actions over the amazing, beautiful words and pictures that he can paint for your um, connection in your bond. And this is really going to help you in moving forward because if you're going to keep looking at all the words and the words aren't lining up to the action, then you're going to be constantly feeling unfulfilled um, because it's not lining up. Alrighty, the next one is creating a relationship from a healthy foundation. And this one's a big one. And if you are ultimately, you may be wanting to end the relationship with a married man, but if you're in a position where you feel you want a future with this married man, then it you you have to ultimately sit where, with what feels in alignment with you. But my honest opinion and perspective is that you would want to be creating it from a healthy foundation so that the betrayal that is going on right now doesn't doesn't move into the relationship and the commitment that you have in the future because if it if you've started your relationship off from betrayal then those wounds can re-trigger when you're in relationship with him understanding how much can I trust this situation and that it could happen again and so it's important for you to get clear on what foundation do I want to create a relationship from? And if it has started from betrayal and this connection has started and evolved, then how can I make sure that he is cleaning up one chapter of his life before he brings me into the next chapter? And so I just want to make note here, in order for you to have that full trust and to be have a relationship that's built off trust, 
true intimacy, in tr- integrity, then ask yourself, what kind of foundation do I want to be building a relationship from? And how can I start creating that foundation now in order for us to have that trust in our relationship moving forward? What does that look like? Does it look like a period of no contact so that you can both clean up different areas of your life before you merge back together? And that's up to you um, and something that I would really look into in order to create a relationship that's coming from a healthy foundation. Alrighty, the next one is um, emotional intimacy. And if you're seeking emotional intimacy in a relationship, emotional intimacy comes from communication. And so one of the things that I would really look into is what am I not saying? And where am I not actually expressing my needs in relationship? And where is that creating some sort of protection, but actually a lack of intimacy? And so if um, it's easy to avoid these conversations and by avoiding these conversations, often that um, protects us from uncomfortable uh, realities that may need to happen and unfold like potentially breaking off this affair relationship. So ultimately, this intimacy can look like you expressing the needs of what you need in a relationship. Do you need monogamy? Do you need full commitment? And that can be an uncomfortable conversation to have because ultimately that could mean that you lose the connection, the commitment and the love that you have with this person. But if you're wanting full intimacy in relationship it's important for you to express those needs of what you see so that you can have it met and if he is not the person that is able to meet that then it's important for you to find that out now instead of avoiding that conversation so you don't actually have to face that reality so that's another one that I want to quickly say um uh the next one is uh oh this one understand that there is an element of easy coming from an affair relationship You don't have to clean up his dirty laundry. You don't have to clean his toothbrush or the toothpaste, roll up the toothpaste or have these certain habits that you don't see when you're having an affair relationship. You get to experience all these bright, beautiful things without actually going through the nitty gritty of what true relationship is. And so um, it's important to acknowledge that This can be very easy because there's an element of commitment that isn't there that does come with relationship. So that's another one that I want to quickly go on. Uh, The next one for ending a long-term affair or ending an affair um, in helping you end it for good is to tell a friend. And when I say that, it's important for you to tell someone that can emotionally attune to you and listen to you and be able to hold that space. And this is definitely not an easy thing to share. I for sure didn't share it for years and didn't have any trust in, or, or I had so much shame in the experience that I didn't want to tell anyone because I didn't know how they would receive it because I was full on judging myself. So how could they be able to receive it if I can't even receive it. So um, that for sure is hard. What I will say is in order for you to move forward from this affair dynamic, it is important that other people know because, and whether that be a therapist or a friend or a family member, someone, because what will happen is if no one knows, you'll keep going back. It's so easy to keep going back to the connection that you have with your affair partner if he is the only one that you're talking to about the affair. And in a way, you're getting your therapy needs met through him when he is the person that you're going through this challenge with. So it's important for you to get support outside of the affair so that you can really heal and move on and and have this accountability that's not necessarily even them keeping you accountable, but just in vocalizing it will really help you um, move on from the isolation perspective that affairs bring and that actually make it hard to really break it off for good. So it's important to speak to someone. 100%. Um, The next one is know that he may not end it and it ultimately can be up to you. (sighs) This is a hard one because ultimately he is getting needs met from his family of security uh, and, and many needs met from his family and then he's getting a lot of needs met by you and 
he's not necessarily want to cut, going to want to cut off those needs. So ultimately it's up to you. And this can be difficult because when there is love there, it is hard to end something that is fulfilling you. But ultimately you've got to know that when you're in a relationship that is not an affair dynamic, you choose to, to create, to step away from the relationship when it's no longer working. Whereas in this situation, there's elements that are working in the secrecy, but is actually going to serve you in the long run. And ultimately at the end of the day, he may not make any of those commitments and it's up to you to ultimately say, no more, I've got to move on to a commitment that is going to serve me in the long run. <sighs> Alrighty, next one is, oh, this one's a good one. Don't be vague on your boundaries. Don't be half committed. There is, there is a part of you that is going to be getting a lot of love from this situation. And while your intuition is saying it's time to end it, you're going to be getting a lot of needs fulfilled from this affair relationship. So when you have a conversation about ending it, watch your language. Watch your language. Where is it half committed, half keeping the back door open in keeping this connection alive? Because at the end of the day, you really don't want to end this commitment. And that in itself is you not truly saying yes. Change can happen in an instant in an instant and I can for sure tell you I tried to end my affair so many times over the seven years like every day I was telling myself it's got to stop and it, I just couldn't for the life of myself and until I fully said no more never again this has got to stop that's when change actually happened but until you make that internal commitment of actually not keeping the back door open, of not being vague of like, I think maybe we can be friends or I think I don't want you to contact me. No, it's important for you to get clear. What does no contact look like to you? Where is the boundary of actually moving on and what does that look like and being full committed, not vague. So ask yourself, where am I actually being vague at, at as a way of keeping his love alive that he is giving me as a way of not losing that. All right, and I need to quickly watch the time. Okay, next one um, is going no contact. So this in itself is a, is a boundary for yourself and a, and a commitment to yourself to creating this change. No contact looks like many levels. So no contact is actually asking for him to respect and value your need for not actually being in communication. What does that look like? No calls, no messages. How can I actually create distance from this person? Um, and another thing is uh, really understanding where do I have contact or, or um, situations where he will come up in my life. For example, social media or being connected with his um, wife and his family through social media or um, through his friends or for, through his workplace like where are all the connections and how can you actually disconnect from those connections so that it's not it's not popping up in the forefront of your daily experience so that is important that is a boundary to him but it's also a boundary to yourself it's important for you to get committed on what are my boundaries for myself to protect myself in healing to move forward the more that you create those boundaries, the quicker you will be able to heal. The fuzzier those boundaries um, are and the more vague you are in having that conversation with him out of a way of kind of wanting to protect yourself from actually cutting the tie for good, then it will drag out for longer. And so it's important if you are in a relationship with a married man um, and you do want to end this relationship with a married man, then where am I being vague? Where do I need to create stronger boundaries with myself and really go no contact so that I can move on for good? Alrighty. Um, and the last one I just want to quickly say is he may try to get you back. And if there has been this lack of boundaries with yourself and with him, uh, which is natural in an affair dynamic, um, then there will be potentially places where he violates your boundaries and secretly you may want your boundaries violated because that will mean he loves you it's important to understand that you may want that but is that going to fulfill you moving forward so 
things that he might do to get you back is to like come up with stories and these stories and if you're an empath and someone that really cares about him then these stories can look like um I'm about to go bankrupt my business is collapsing you literally are the most important person on my staff and I need you right now until the end of this month until the end of the six months until the end of the year um he he might be going through some difficult situations and challenges with his family and really need your support to lean on um he might be going through some mental health challenges and you might feel such a strong need to be there for him to protect him in those mental health challenges they can be deep they can be deep and if you're really afraid of his mental health and what that could lead to then that is a whole nother burden on you and it's important to understand that when you do have that conversation of ending it with your affair partner that those stories might get louder they might get louder and it's really tough to hear them and it can sink you back in. So it's important for you to get clear that these stories might happen where he says, hey, a family member is going through a lot right now. Um, uh, often a family member has died or something significant has happened and these situations happen and there's never going to be a right time. There is never going to be a right time. Absolutely, you share a bond and a connection, but is this connection going to serve you in the long run? And when I, the question that I love to ask is, when is now the right time to say yes to yourself and to say yes to your own healing journey? And with that, it will be hard for them. And it's important to acknowledge that they may try to get you back uh, or send you or, or, or be even more there for you in a way that makes you fall even harder for them. Um, often the sex and the kissing and everything can get more passionate when you do commit to closing it off. And that can be really confusing because then the love gets deeper. And it's important to, for you to come back to your own truth of where is this relationship going? What do I ultimately want? And stay clear and firm on those boundaries and those desires so that you can end this affair relationship for good. So I hope that helps. There is a lot of points there. Um, ending an affair relationship isn't easy. And back to what I said before is you can come and go from an affair relationship and keep going back and struggle ending the affair relationship. And until you actually commit to ending it for good and being like no more never again this has got to stop that's when change actually happens I hope that helps if you're wanting to end your affair or wanting to get through the the pain that you're going through with your affair relationship then by all means reach out to me I would love to connect um good luck on your journey bye for now